Hello and welcome everyone to another session from uh, building secure web APIs using ASP.NET Core with Identity and uh, JWT. In this session we are going to implement uh, forget and reset password uh, functionality. Okay. It is uh, Ahmed Muzaffar with you, a Microsoft Certified Trainer and a .NET Full Stack Developer. Before I get started, let me explain to you how we can implement this and what is the pipeline of this process. First, the user opens the login page and head for get password. Now, he should enter his email address that is situated with his account in your system. After he enters the email, he clicks submit email. Then, the web API received this email, so what is the step that the API does to implement this function? First, it checks if this email is situated with any account in the system. Is there any user have this email address? If there is a user that has this email address, so okay, it generates a token to reset the password, this token is an encrypted object as a string that returns back the URL in the next step. The next step, in the web API, we create a URL to a reset password page that we are going to create in a minute. And pass the email and token as parameters to this page. So, when the user open this URL, it redirects him to a page that uh, has two fields, a new password and confirm password. And it takes the email of the user to know who is the user and the token to validate that this is uh, the owner of this, uh, of this email. After that, we send that URL via a mail service uh, to the client. When the client opens this email, he redirects to that page he inserts his new password and the confirmation of it, then he hits submit. After that, the last step, the server receives the email, the token, and the new password and its confirmation. The API gets the user from the email, validate if this is the token that generated for that email in the first and second step. If it's okay, then it reset uh, the password of that user and uh, the operation is done. That was a very uh, general explanation and now let's move to the coding part. Okay, the first thing we should do is create a razor page to reset the password and register the razor pages and we need to implement two functions. The function that receives the email and generates the token and sends the email back to the user contains the URL. And the second uh, function is to receive the new password with the token and the email, validate them, and then set the new password for the user. So, I'm going to start first with the first, with the first function. I'm going to I user service and here add a function task return user manager response user manager response call it forget password async and it receives an email. Okay. Now let's implement this function. Okay. First, try to get the user that found that email found by email, back the email, if user equals equals none, which means there is no user, first I want to mark the function as async. Now, if there is no user with this email, I'm going to return is success equals false and message no user way to do this email. Okay, sorry. Very good. 
Now there is a user. We should generate the token. We say var token equals await user manager dot generate password reset token async and it receives the user as an argument. Very good. Now we have generated the token, but ASP.NET identity inside the, the user manager service it encrypted this token and converted it to string via base64 string method so this string could contain some special characters like plus, minus, slash, etc so sometimes sometimes it uh, cannot uh, this token cannot be parsed by the browser because we want to send the URL of the reset password and the token here so if it contains any special character the process is gonna fill it so we should uh, re-encode it re-encode this token using the web encoders which gives us, us a string but a plain string without any special characters so let's do this and in the previous session about email confirmation I've already done that so we can copy the code just to save some time okay in the register user uh, okay here I have generated the email confirmation token and we encoded it using the web encoders okay let's take it and paste it here choose change the name encoded token first of all we convert the token from the string to a bytes array then we re-encode the spite array using the web encoders dot page 64 URL encode to give us a token a valid token we can call it so here is the token that contains a plain string with no special characters and could be parsed by the web browser now we should generate a URL to redirect the user to the reset password page that we will create now. So let's create the URL. Where URL equals the URL gonna contain the URL of the application. It should save as a variable here. Can I it via configuration called app URL slash slash reset password and the page gonna takes two parameters the first one is email the email sent from the user and token equals to the valid token that we have generated okay perfect now let me after we have created the URL we just have to send this URL back to the user via the mail service Away mail service dot send email to to the email of the user the subject reset password and the content can be some HTML follow the instructions follow the instructions to reset your password. Paragraph right inside it to set your password. Click here on the link. So I'm going to create href equals to the URL that we want to redirect the user to. A click here. Okay, pretty simple, right? And then we just return a new user manager response is success equals true and message ah, come on I always made the same mistake message equals to reset password email reset password URL has been sent to the email successfully okay well here we have the function. Now 
let's implement or create an action to call this function when the user here when the user enters his email and they click submit we should create the action to receive this email and run that function so this action and we have type HTTP post and the routing going to forget password so we can access it via the URL API slash o slash forget password very nice and say public async task I action result forget password and it receives an email pretty simple let's validate the email string is null or empty email then Twitter uh, not found that var result equals await user service dot forget password async and see the same let's check if the result is success then we are going to return ok and pass the user manager response object other than we are going to return bad request which returns the status code 400 and this returns the status code 200 ok very well now when the user hits submits we receive the email and let's go to the implementation ok very well here we go Create, get the user associated with this email, check if there is a user or no generate the token, re-encode the token using the web encoders to make sure it doesn't contain any characters that could not be parsed by the browser then create a URL to the page and send that URL inside a mail and that's it now, here is the first part of the process let's move to the second part and create that page so the user can reset the password from so I'm going to create a new folder add call it pages because the razor pages can set them here you have multiple choices if from the beginning we created an MVC project you can use an MVC pages and views but we have created an API project so we have to initialize Razor pages instead of MVC because it takes less time so it depends on you now let's add the Razor pages services from here in the configure method configure services say services dot add Razor pages and here use endpoints and endpoints dot map Razor pages, very nice. Our application now can serve Razor pages perfectly. So before I go to pages and create the page, I'm going to create a model for this page, which I've already done just to save some time. It's called Reset Password View Model. And just it contains token because from the API we will receive the token, email, new password, and the confirmation of the new password. This is what the reset password page can send to the API after the users submit the new request. So let's go and create the page, add razor page. Razor page, okay, and add that. Use layout, no, generate razor page model class, okay, call it reset password, and that. Okay, now let's set 
the URL of this page is our application slash reset password. Okay. Like this. Very good. The title and the body. Now let's create a very simple form to let the user enter his new password and the confirmation. Reset your password. Okay. Form action. This form goes to slash reset slash API sorry slash oath slash reset password we should create this in the second step on the second part of the process the method of type post so the data goes in the body of the request now create a little table trtd new password input type password name call it new password and that's it okay copy this create a new row this one is for confirm password and call this confirm password very good and should add the submit button input type submit value reset okay wonderful so what we still have to do is to send the email and the password that will come in the URL of the page as you can see here I have sent in the URL the URL of the application slash reset password and they have passed two parameters I want to send these parameters back to the API inside the body of this form so of course I won't put them inside an input uh, of type password or text I can use an input of type hidden so the values cannot shown to the user but they will be submitted inside the form let's do that create an input type hidden name token and the value the value of this is going to come from the URL request.query here we set the name of the parameter token and ok this is the first one and the email second one okay. so when the users click this it should fire an action here called reset password we will create but first let's create the logic of it before we create the endpoint so now the next part Create another user manager response. Reset password async and it delivers an object of type reset password view model. Reset password view model. Okay. Model. Very nice. Let's move to the implementation. Very good. As always, first let's get the user. But here, email, we don't have email. We have it from mode.email. Again, I always forget to mark the function as async okay after we got the user let's check the password and confirmation password if model.password not equals to model.confirm password 
returns object of type user manager response Walls of course password doesn't match its confirmation okay now we have everything let's call the reset function result equals await user manager dot reset password async very good it receives a user token model the token to validate this is the token that we have generated here or no and is it for this user and the new password which is model dot new password it is that simple actually now let's check if result succeeded then return new message equals password has been reset successful the success equals true now if it will new user manager response message something went wrong is success equal to roles and error I'm going to bring all the errors that result has but going to select only the description of the error and return it inside this errors I am your book that okay we are all done right now the final thing I have to do is to go to the old controller and to create an endpoint to receive the action that can be sent from this form that should be post reset password API slash o slash reset password now public async task i action result reset password and from body or sorry from form because we're submitting Uh, for okay, we are going to receive a reset password review mode. Now, as you can see here, we just submit a form with four values token and its value, email and its value new password and confirm password you have been specified that we are going to send a reset password view model but what ASP is doing is doing is when it receives a request to this action it generates a new object from this class and it assigns all the matched properties to its value that has been sent from the form and this process called model binding now we have everything that just validate the object is valid if it's not valid return bad request some properties are not valid okay here let's just call the function await user service dot reset password async pass the model to it and check the result if result is success then return ok return the result else return bad request 
is off as well okay super perfect everything is ready now I'm going to put a prick point here another prick point here to start receiving the request okay let's run the API and open up postman to test what we have done till now here is our API is ready and okay so first let's simulate the first part when the user submit his email to the API to ask us for reset his password so here I have prepared that we have call to this function API auth forget password and pass my email I click send ok we have got 404 not found let me check aha uh -huh, ok sorry I have a little error here we don't have it. just forget password ok again let's submit the request let's send again very nice. We have received the request. Let's check the email. Okay, it is my email. Let's go through the steps. Now, try to get the user. Okay, there is a user. Generate a token. Here is the token. And as you can see, there is some special characters here. Plus, slash. Now we encoded it and regenerate, uh, re encoded, uh, sorry, using the base 64 URL encode. So we have just a plain string, no special characters. And then create the URL. You can see the URL. The URL of our application, slash reset password, the email, and token, etc. And we sent this URL via mail okay let's complete the execution of the application okay reset password URL has been sent to the email successfully I'm gonna check my inbox at refresh okay I think it's not here so check the junk okay here it is JWT auth demo follow the instructions to reset the password ok great let me first mark it as not junk open that and I'm going to click here to the URL that gonna redirects me to the reset password page very good very nice and cool design page if I click on view page source you can see here in addition to these two fields I have another two inputs but they are hidden the token and the email so I'm going to set a new password the current password is ak.123 I'm going to set ak.12345 ak.12345 and hit reset very nice we have received the request Check the model. I have the new password, the email, and the token. Now, the result reset password. As you can see, step by step, got the user. Okay, the password and confirm is equal. Now, user manager, the result is filled. Ah, okay, sorry. Uh, we have manipulated the token here a little bit from the original status and we re encoded it using the base 64 URL encode. And here we have to done the opposite, the same process but in the opposite direction. We have to decode it and return it to the original status. So I'm going to copy the code from here and paste it here 
the coded token equals model dot token and so we convert this web token the received into a byte array and we get the original string from it using the utf dot get string uh, method instead of passing the model dot token we should pass normal token let's test that Okay, we open the email and set the new password, a kid of 345, a kid of 345, head reset, I've received that, click continue, and here we go, password has been reset successfully, success equals true, errors, null, perfect. Let's try to log in using the new password from the client application and the API and run the Windows 10 app. Awesome. Let's use my email. Come and okay, get dot one two three four five. Login. Super awesome. Here we go. Very nice. Actually, that was everything for this session. Uh, the code can be available on GitHub. You can find the description. In, you can find the URL in the description below. And uh, if you have any questions, don't hesitate. You can just put any question you want inside the comments section, and I will try to reply as soon as I can. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, before you leave, don't forget to like the video if you really enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel thanks so much and see you on another videos